Mr. JJ here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Resident Evil One. Chris's, I keep want to, oh, sorry about that. I keep want to say Chris's story, but <clears throat> honestly, it is kind of like the A and B scenario in the remake of the second game because they both do the same things, just different side characters, you know. But I wouldn't say it's like the original Resident Evil Two, where it's like. Either you go against William Birkin or uh, the Tyrant. But yeah. But so I, I guess you could kind of say it is Chris's story. Um, then, um. Yeah. But like, alright. So I didn't do all the, um. All the stuff I usually did. Like, I mean, that I did before. Like, I didn't go into that one room. So I have, like, all the ammo. And I got the, yeah. And then I went in that run room where I got the yellow, um, got the yellow, what's that thing called? That one thing, yeah, and I got the ammo for this, but, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, snap. Honestly, if I would have saved my shotgun ammo for last time. We would have been good. Oh, snap. Got him. Look at how easy that was. So I'm guessing I was about to kill him uh, before, but I thought I had what, like two more hits on him or something like that, maybe. Eagle of the South, Wolf of the North. And I earn a trophy. Written word is dead. I think my theory was um, maybe Wesker was trying to um, the, was giving them weapons and stuff was so he could um, buy himself some more time. I think so he could make it down to that lab and go against the prototype, the uh, get the prototype ready. You know, that's my theory. Because if you really think about it, if um, because. Because he wanted um, <clears throat> to see how well they would fare against the um, against the, um, the bioweapons. So it only makes sense that he wanted them to um, fail, of course. But at the same time, he wanted to cover his tracks so he didn't look like, oh, I'm the bad guy. So he was probably trying to buy himself time while making it look like... Oh, I'm the good guy, you know. Dang, I forgot we can't. We don't have a shotgun. See, the importance of the shotgun is it stuns. Dang, it. I was hoping he would grab me.
And I guess that um, could explain where the um, hunters came from. They probably came from the destruction of the um, other one. Like the ones that weren't, um, that had left the training facility and all that. Those are probably those hunters. There was probably no hunters in this mansion. Well, there was no hunters in the mansion. But they were by the labs and all that. Oh snap, I forgot I had already unlocked this door. Cause the only thing I was doing was running up to unlock it. Cause we have no, oh, we actually do have space. Never mind. Don't get me to lie. Oh, never mind. I guess you can still shoot them while they're jumping. What? That thing only... Bro, I'm not going to question that, but okay. Uh, three shots literally took it... Nah, nah, actually, never mind. I am questioning it. Four centimeters in diameter. Oh, my bad. Trying to think. <clears throat> oh, where to go now? Oh, step. There's two of them. Oh, what are you pointing at, Chris? Clueless Chris, bro. Clueless Chris. And why is one of them more like a tannish color? Like I'm not I'm not hating on it. Like I'm not racist. I'm just asking. Because all the ones we saw in Zero were green. And all the ones I remember seeing when I first played this were green. Dang it went Alright, scissor fingers. Let's got one shot left. I just realized I didn't save it after I killed the zombie. I mean, not the zombie, the snake. I didn't save it after I killed the snake, so... Me doing this and letting myself get beat up like this isn't good. Because especially since I don't have any health.
Yeah, we're about to die. Dang, bro. The self-defense gun for the win. Oh, okay, but he's like, yeah, oh, you really thought you're gonna win? You're gonna kill my brother like that? You gonna win? <laughs> that's, that's what I can imagine what he sound like. Oh, it sends you straight to fine. Okay. Watch out for the zombie dog. Whoa, 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 whoa! I did not expect to see you. Okay, bro, quit scissoring my. What the heck? There's two. <laughs> bro, why is there two? They really don't want you exploring now. Oh, what the fluff? Yeah, let's go this way. Maybe it has something to do with, uh... Lisa Tre It does have something to do with Lisa Trevor. Let's get it. You know, I'm so glad they weren't in the um, Resident Evil 2 remake because as they were, I know they are already, they would have made it look scary as fluff. I know the wind crescent. Whoa. Okay, never mind. They're just regular zombies. I know the wind crescent come it goes over there. I think that little circle thing goes over there too. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. I saw a map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. You can't go that way still.
I'm gonna be salty if I don't get to play as Rebecca. Like I really am. Like where am I supposed to get poisoned with Chris? Well, let's go back to the mansion. That's what I figured. Oh. Scissor fingers, you're really hurting me, scissor fingers. Oh, you really thought you were going to hurt me, scissor fingers. I just realized I keep coming in here to get a gun. And I keep forgetting I don't have any ammo for said gun. Let me just take this and this. And then I'll come back later to see if um you really need to do put them in that uh place in the mansion. I mean not mansion, but the courtyard or whatever. Dude, that thing's literally on my butt. What the fluff? Bro, I knew there's another one up here. Nah bro. Fluff that. Okay, that's the move that's supposed to decapitate you. That move it just did. So like I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it surprised me at first because I thought it was gonna decapitate me, but it didn't decapitate me. Instead, it just sliced my throat. Man, I wish that, I kind of wish they would have kept the decapitation because like, do you not see how sharp their fingers are? And I just realized I'm wearing jeans. I literally just realized I was wearing jeans. I, I don't know why. Fear can't kill you, but I can. Right, let's go kill that snake real quick. We'll come back later and get the MO disc. Because like, the thing is, we don't need it now because it's not a necessity. And I like how a lot of the zombies cleared out that I haven't even killed yet. I, I find that funny. Very, very humorous. And I'm not talking about the bone. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Like, Q laugh track.
Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, like I was saying though, worms and snakes always kind of like were weird because it was like they don't have any arms or legs. They just have a head and a tail, literally. Like worms confuse me more though because like half the time you can't even tell where its head is and where its um tail is, but like. But like a snake, I mean, at least like a snake, you could like tell where its mouth is. It's not really, it, it's not rocket science, you know. Yeah, go through that wall. Got him. Self defense pistol for the win. Honestly, with that snake, you could honestly rip it open, de poison it, well, de venom, like, drain the venom out of it. And, um, then you can, um, ah, crap, I can't carry it. And then you could actually turn those into, like, snake boots. You know, snake jacket, snake. You can literally make you a snake house, <laughs> like a snake tent for all that matters, like a snake canopy, a snake boat. Yeah, but that's really crazy, though. I'm not gonna lie, that's a clean looking gun. So that's a really powerful gun. That self-defense gun was like a real powerful gun. <gasps> Bro, that's what we should have started off with. We probably could have saved some shotgun ammo. Like, I'm not even joking. Yeah, like, what if we would have started off with that? Did like a huge chunk of damage, and then we hit him twice with the shotgun and then rest pistol ammo. When crest. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but one thing I will say though is because I know I talk a lot about uh, Leon and how he's like the super, like they made um, Capcom made him the super cool guy. Like the thing about Leon is like I don't have a problem with him as a character. No, no, I don't have a problem with him because he is cool. I'm not even gonna deny that. Probably one of the, he, I would say top five coolest Resident Evil characters but the thing about it though is just how that what they did with them they just made him like like he was like better than everyone else you know what I mean and see this that's why I liked him in Resident Evil 2 because he didn't um he didn't um he didn't he wasn't way better than everyone else he was just a normal guy who was just like oh what what's going on like he, he was confused 
Damn, I'm trying to get that dagger. But, but in, in um, like all the other ones, he's super cool, just knocking everyone out with punch, like with literal punches and kicks. You know, that's what bothers me. Like, he he's a cool character, but they just made him too cool to the point where it was like, uh, it was like he doesn't fit anywhere anymore. It's like. Cause it's like, oh, it's not, I left it in there, or did it say it wouldn't budge? I didn't read it, but yeah, yeah. But like I said, like I wouldn't, I don't have, I personally don't have a problem with Leon, but he's just like cool character who, who Capcom decided to make the superhero of uh, Resident Evil. Because there's lots of stuff, um, there's lots of stuff like Leon did that should be near impossible, you know? And like, even if it, and like, let's say even if it was possible for Leon to do it, then that means literally any other male Resident Evil character could do it. And probably Ada Wong because she's a Ada Wong and Jill because they're really strong female characters in Resident Evil. Claire, I only I only played her with her in uh, to the remake and she was really weak in there. So don't hate on me because she was weak in that game. But yeah, I, I just wanted to make it clear though that I I didn't have a problem with Leon. It's just it's just the way his character like is portrayed. I don't like that because he really is. If Dante, if Dante came into Resident Evil, because I mean they even had the same haircut. Literally, um, the only thing different is probably their personalities. But then again, I only saw Don. Uh, I mean, uh, what's his name? Not Dante's. Uh, Leon's personality in the remake of two. But I mean, and then uh, I'm not gonna lie. Dante's personality is kind of hard to like because he's like the um, he's like the oh yeah, I'm so cool. I can just do whatever I want. I'm cool. Nothing I do is ever wrong because I'm cool. That's his personality <laughs> and that will make cry, you know? So it's kind of hard to make another character kind of like that, you know? Because that, that really is his personality. And I can see why a lot of people don't like Dante's personality. Because that's how he was in the, um, and like when I was playing the first one, and then when I started watching that anime of it, um, I'm like, yeah, I could see why a lot of people don't like this, how his character is portrayed, because the way he comes off, though, is just, like, really cocky, you know, but I'm not gonna lie, I do like, but like I said, I do like Leon, just not, um, not how, like, I just don't respect what he can do, that's what I should say, like, I feel like in the Resident Evil universe, he's like pretty overpowered. No, I did not mean to pick up the herb. That's cool though. Dude, die. Thank you. And I like how it still has the same death animation. Okay. 
like because like in zero well i should say i like how zero used made it have the same death animations but i should have said yeah but yeah but like I, and then i also don't like how then they tried to make uh i was about to say dante leon the face of the franchise because like i mean it's okay for you to have like like don't get me wrong dante's i mean not dante uh leon's a cool character but the way they tried to do it is they tried to make him over cool like th not dante's over cool but they they pretty much made him like really over cool like it's one thing to ha be a cool character and then it's another thing and then it's another thing to be like um i'm trying to think of the right word to say Bro, camera angle, stop. Like, at least have some, like, decentable faults. Because, like, I mean, you can give Leon some faults, but you know he's... Like, you can give Leon some that is going to be hard for him, and somehow he's going to overcome it. And it's just like, bro, really? Okay, okay, I remember, I remember, I remember now. I remember now. I was so confused at first. But, like, I like this one. It's a clever puzzle. So now I messed it up. Uh, I know what I gotta do. I just messed it up. I think I flipped up. Don't tell me I'm gonna die. <laughs> bro, his voice. His voice, bro. Bro, dude, that's worse than Billy's scream, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Bro, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, bro. That is that is too funny that is too funny because the thing about it is it's um he sounded more like a banana than billy billy didn't sound like a banana you know like with billy it was just unexpected because of how tough he tried to act even though we all knew he had a soft side but 
with Chris, it's just like I don't know. I don't know how to uh, the best way to describe it with Chris, but yeah. all right, we're about to kill this thing. And um, oh my bad, I mean hit the mic. We're about to kill this giant snake real fast. So so get your cameras ready. Ah, dang, I could have put the knife up. Let me go do that real quick. You'll see why in a sec. Well, you already know why, because I would need broom. Honestly, we could put the health up, too. Like, because here's the thing, even though I want to um, use the health when I come back, just in case we run into something we can't handle, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that there, put the knife up. There we go. And then I'm, I might, should I go get the jewels? Nah, let's wait to get the jewels, because, um... Even though it has ammo, um, we could easily come back and get that later. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. If I was Chris and I would have saw Wesker, I'd been like, um, Wesker. Would you, uh, Rebecca's with me. We're gonna stick with you because it's too dangerous for us to go alone. And I would not have taken no for an answer. I would say, we're all staying together. Well, I wonder what Wesker would have done. And have been like, oh, I see. Would have shot me and would have probably shot Rebecca. And I'd been like, Chris, I didn't want to have to do this. Chris, I didn't want to have to do this. But you left me no choice. <laughs> uh, Wesker voice. The camera angle? Okay, good. What are you aiming at, Chris? Damn it. Clueless Chris. What? I was about to say. So I guess I just had enough ammo to kill it. Or maybe if I would have got him with that pistol. That pistol shot where Chris shot the freaking wall. Maybe. Okay. That's it's cool. It's, he's dead. He's dead. It's okay. That's okay, Mr. JJ. He's dead. Or is it a she? You know I can't tell the gender of these snakes. These snakes ain't loyal. Yeah. These snakes ain't loyal. Yeah. These snakes. Ain't... All right, all right, all right. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this one more time. I like how they even back in the day they knew to flip the um tab for a makeshift um bookmark like the top corner of the paper I like how they knew back in the day to even do that
second. Yeah, I literally throw all this in the um the I'll keep on I was about to call it like I keep wanting to call it a treasure chest. Bro, that's hilarious, bro. Even my like I wonder what I said the very first time I encountered one of the item boxes. I probably call it an item box because I didn't realize that you could only put stuff down if you um <coughs> I didn't know you could only put stuff down. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't know you could only put stuff down unless you had an item box. So I think I knew it was a. I have to know it was an item box, you know? Dang, bro. I should have put that crest up. The one that I have in my hand right now. Yeah, but I could see, but don't get me wrong, oh, the only reason I'm still talking about Leon is because, um, I don't know, just being in this room, it just makes me think about Leon. But, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock on you if you say Leon's your favorite character. Like, I'd probably say you just like him more because he's more action-oriented rather than, um, survival of the fittest, you know? Well, survival horror, that's what I should say, before y'all start trying to mistake my words out of place. <clears throat> ah, my bad. I mean, hit the mic. Man, I'm keep hitting it. Man, I'm just trying to rub my eye. I hate when my eyes just starts itching for no reason. Allergies, bro. I don't even think it was allergies. Sometimes they just need to get rubbing. Pause. Let's go put these in the um, treasure box. No, I'm just kidding. I said that on purpose. Now, only if Rebecca was done here so she could heal me up. Yeah, you thought you were going to wait on me, pal? I knew I should have used the... Oh. My. Gosh. Bro, I knew I should have used the first aid spray. Alright. Alright, I'm going to skip it because y'all already seen me kill this snake, what, three, four times? Alright, let's do this. One more time. No, I'm just kidding. Dang it, grab me. Oh, I was gonna blow you up. Yeah, my boy Chris looking like a track star. Tell you what, bro. I'm trying to think. Think, think, think. Oh, green herbs. All right. I 
honestly, after this, I might go check on Rebecca, see what she's up to. Because I still haven't played as her yet, and it's starting to get closer to the end. Because the thing about that, specifically right there, is you got to make sure that, um, you're not going to get, um, smush. Wait a second. Maybe I had did it right the first time. Got around it and then um Because I know there's some of that you're supposed to grab. I guess I gotta skip it again. <laughs> Alright guys, I got it this time. I finally figured, well, remembered how to do it. I don't know, I looked up a YouTube video. But, <laughs> um, that's okay because, alright, so I started off right by doing this, pushing it all the way down. My name is Chris Redfield and I got a gun. I also got a shotgun and you know I like fun. Oh crap. I guess I didn't do it enough time. Oh. oh, oh. Bro, the camera angle is throwing me off, like, hard. Yeah, so I guess I didn't do it fast enough. Bro, go. All right, let me sit up. <laughs> and I did not fart, that was my gaming chair. Because I have the ones that sit on the floor. Bro, go! What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, but... It was like a cheap one from Walmart. Damn. It's like 50 bucks or something like that. I got it for Christmas one year. Because our mom was like, You know, why don't you can't you put a gaming in here? And like, she literally told both of us that. I was just like... Come on now. And so pretty much we both got this for Christmas because we both decided to buy this one for each other. 
Yeah, and then like our mom knew we were buying. And it was just like, come on now. I could have actually bought something he would like. And he could have actually bought something I would like. Like, don't get me wrong, it's cool. Because, like, I mean, I ended up liking it. But at the same time, I could have wanted something else completely different that I would have probably enjoyed more, you know? No, what are you doing? Bro, come on, man. And then the TV flickered. TV, let's not flicker here, because this is a one shot, one kill. Freaking camera angles, bro. Bro, you can't even push it. Like, this is one of those areas where I wouldn't want it there to be camera angles because it throws me off. Push it! Oh my gosh, Chris Redfield, I'm about to kill you. What the heck, Chris? What the flop, man? I kind of want to go check on Rebecca real quick, but let me go check on Rebecca. Because there should be a cutscene, I think. Oh, man. Bro, I'm just finally glad we got that, got that done. Yeah, you miss me, scissor fingers. Dang, he's not even over here. I tell you what, the people with the phone, um, com I mean, not the phone company, but the, um, the uh, sorry about that, um, the phone cup like, those scammer calls, they're starting to get clever and clever, I can, is you not, I mean, they almost got me one time. Like, um, it was like, uh, you won a grant for um, uh, the government for $9,800. I'm just like, oh, okay. And they're like, yeah, you gotta call this number to get it or whatever. 
So I call the number. They're over here telling me, um, oh, yeah, we're good. You just got to register you up and all that. And I'm like, oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, let me get registered up. And so, all right, so they're like, yeah, you're going to need a card, a registration card. It's going to have to be 250 like it's gonna be two hundred fifty dollars, but you gotta go to like Walmart and get it from like uh, a cup, like a company bank or something like that. That's what they're trying to tell me. So I go in the, so they, I eventually go into Kroger, right? Cause they're like, cause I tell them at um, Walmart, and I'm like, so what do I have to do here? And they're like, yeah, um, yeah, no, you gotta go to Kroger and do it, cause Walmart may not have it. That was the first red flag. I'm like, y'all are the government, and y'all don't even know how to give me my money that was like one of the first red flags the second red flag was when they were like when I went to Kroger and they are like yeah um yeah you're gonna need to get a Google Play card for $250 I was like okay why do I and I asked them why do I need a Google Play card and they're like they're like you need a Google Play card because it's the most secure way to get your money I'm like but I was thinking in my head, um, but y'all are the government. Why? Why can't y'all just send a, a check in the mail or whatever? That's what I'm thinking in my head. And I was like, this is a scam, bro. And they almost got me. Literally, if they didn't say, oh, it has to be a Google Play card or any of that. Like, pretty much, because what I thought of, they said a registration card, what I thought they meant was a... Uh, was uh you have to go to like a bank and they're gonna transfer it through the bank which would i'm like okay that's pretty logical i guess but no they really thought i was about to um go and buy a google play card <sighs> yeah right and then they kept changing how much money i was gonna get went from nine thousand eight hundred to one thousand two fifty i was just like bro shut up I don't believe in that. Alright, Rebecca, where are you? Rebecca's not in here. I came all this way to see the tantalite. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what that word means. I came all this way to see Rebecca, and she's not even here. Rebecca. I mean, Wesker must have took her. But that'd be messed up if he took her, though. I knew I should have came back when, um, when, um, when I had the chance. Alright, yeah. I'm sorry about that. My controller died. <laughs> So now I switch controllers on them. Now while that's dead, let me put this controller on the charger. Yeah, so ba pretty much we did this whole trip for nothing, just wasting time on the clock. Because I was trying to finish this game with un within under three hours, right? But um, obviously that's not going to work. Hopefully we can get under five hours. Because... I really want it under five hours. And even if we don't get it under five hours, I'm just gonna play it on very easy and just use a knife. Get, cause that's how I'm gonna get all my trophies. I'm gonna get all my trophies by using a knife. You mother fluffer. Ah, oh, now I'm poison. Poison. Rebecca, I want to see Rebecca, Rebecca, want to see Rebecca. It's funny though. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I was going to play on Chris's story regardless. I just felt like I had more incentive to play it now that Rebecca was in it. You mother fluffer. Get the fluff off me. Get the fluff off me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I was about to say, bro, if you would have killed me, I would have been salty. <laughs> Dude, did you see that thing jump? 
Oh uh, man, I would have been super stealthy if that would have killed me. I would have been like, I don't like you, you back up, and she was gonna. Nah, but nah, but yeah, I was gonna play it regardless. So if I try and make it sound like, oh, I only played it because Rebecca was in here, that's only half the truth. Because like I said, even in my um. Uh, my Resident Evil, like my first Resident Evil 1 gameplay, I even said, yeah, I'm going to play Chris's story, play as Chris, because I really like this game. That's literally what I said. Dang, should I go this way? Ah, YOLO. You thought scissor fingers, scissor fingers, scissor fingers, chill. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. All right, perfect. We're good. All right, get this herb. Get this herb. Clueless Chris. I'm surprised he knows how to mix the herbs. I wonder if you can die from being poisoned to death. My bad, he jumped down fast. George Trevor. Okay, so this is Lisa Trevor's dad. Bluff, bro. I got poison times two. Crap. This way? What is that shining thing lying there? You see that? I know y'all see that. Thank you. Damn, I, I didn't know I was still alive. Damn, bro, I'm getting poisoned. I'm about to die because I've been poisoned too much.
damn. So this was like pretty much like a holding cell. That's what I'm talking about. Clean. Keep your guns clean. And clean as a whistle. Alright, come on. They got four daggers, so. Thank you for the dagger. No! They did me dirty, bro. They did me dirty. Cause like, you know, usually you can go into the inventory and you can just use it from there. But see that, see in this game, it forces you to get out of there. So you can't use it, but. That's all right. We're going to skip it again because we literally made progress. So we got it this time. So there we go. All right, we're back. Um, yeah. No, bro. Open the book. <laughs> all right, there we go. Yeah, we're back. We just jumped down the um, hole. Yeah, but here you go. Got the pistol whistle. Got some health. Let's try not to get poisoned. Interesting. What the? How did it go so far? Uh-uh. No, see, that's what we're not about to do. Bro, get over here. Okay, good. Baby spiders. Ah, uh, what's over here? Oh, that's the door to leave. Okay. Yeah, that's the door for the kitchen. Okay. Um, dude, that flickering. I thought that was the TV, but that was uh, the game. Yeah, that's gonna be like my first time actually just killing a bunch of spiders. I'm well, giant spiders with just my pistol. Oh, 
What the heck? Oh, okay, I was running into that. Yeah, I see that dagger right there. That's the whole reason I let him grab me. You want a knife? Yeah, right to the head. This dude did another jump at me. You thought. I don't know why I thought the thing was going to break. It never, like, I don't know. Oh, snap. All right, good. I thought he was about to pick up the Magnum rounds. I'm like, we do not have the Magnum. Yep, and then I know where this is. <clears throat> oh, oh, never mind. That was just that bottle of crust I was drinking earlier. Yeah, all right, let's go. Yeah, we should have just had regular pistol ammo. Yeah, because I was going to slice a zombie from behind, but I decided not to. Sit down. Dunking you all the scary and all that. Nah, because I knew they could uh, jump through the door, like go through the doors. So that's why I wasn't tripping.
And he's like, boom, oh, oh. Alright. Cause it's by the courtyard where those dogs are. That's probably why they gave me that. Because they're like, yeah, we know that's where the dogs are. And if a dog jumps on you, they're one shot. So we're going to give you this. So if they try and get you, you're going to blow them up. Oh, snap. Which area is this? Yeah, but I really wish they would have more than one, um, want more than one, um, breed of dog. Because it's just those Dobermans. Why can't they have German Shepherds or, um, uh... I'm honestly trying to think of another dog breed. That would be like a suitable villain because like obviously they're not going to get any chihuahuas or Yorkies, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else. Like other types of police dogs, you know. Wait, what is that? There we go. Knife to the neck, or he knifed him in the side. Oh, this is for that room we couldn't access because the door handle was broken. No, this right here. Yeah, that bark. Ja. Yeah. I really trying to figure out how to turn the waterfall off. Or... Personally, I would have just ran through the waterfall. Especially if they look like there's some behind it that I could use. Hold on. Because all we did was get the battery. Hold on. Wait a second. Let me try going up to here and using this. Okay. Okay, so now I'm thinking if all of that was f for this battery. this isn't a new area you see what I'm saying found but no water so we gotta get water restored over here knife like you see where I'm getting confused at Because now I don't, I really have no clue where to go. Okay, interesting.
Okay. Ah, I can try and get that box. That uh, jewelry box. Maybe the answer's in there. Yeah, so let me go back down. Alright, let me go to the nearest safe house. Well, not safe house, the safe room. Yeah, let me save it real quick. I'm really wondering where Rebecca went though because like she said she saw supplies with medical stuff in it but there's nothing over here that has medical supplies you see what I'm saying I tell you what though, Rebecca better be happy she got that victory royale. Um, she's the, the the sole survivor of the Bravo team. Okay, bro. What the heck? Uh, give me a second. I get it now. 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 Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'll be. Yeah. Bro, I'd be so forgetful sometimes, but I finally figured it out. Like, the thing is, is I didn't even um look it up. Like, um, the whole reason I had stopped. Um. It was because like I was answering a message that someone sent me. That was the only reason I stopped, bro. That's crazy. Cause I just remembered. You do this, then you go and you get on the elevator while the water's up, 
ain't everything works fine. So either way, we would have to go back there and get the crank anyways. So I was smart enough to get the crank, which is crazy. That is crazy. Because like, I'm like, hmm, let me get the crank because it might have to be some with the crank. But I knew it had to be some with the crank, but I couldn't quite remember it. But yeah, I do. Nah, sit down, old doggy boy. No! Ooh, Jew game. Jew game. It seems like Chris Redfield has mastered the power of Ultra Instinct. Key Ultra Instinct. No, I'm just kidding. Dun, 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 dun. Now I gotta do this again. Wait, matter of fact. No, nah, actually, I got a better idea. Because that's going to take too long. Uh, that's going to take too long. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load the game up from where I saved. And I'm going to come back. Oh, my bad. I mean, the mic. Bro, I really be hitting the mic. Because, like, the thing is, it stays so close to, like, my chin. So if I ever try and scratch my chin or my, my left side of my cheek, I will hit the mic. Yelling at the mic. Beard's weird. Yelling at the mic. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hate how the elevators are, these elevators are. Like, you have to, you can only control up or down if you're on it. So, if it's up and you're down, you can't control it. But if it was down and you're up, you still can't control it. But you gotta be on it. You gotta be down, down, down to down, or up to up. Put it in the thing. Bro, you don't even know how many times I tried putting this thing in there. Like, it was ridiculous how many times. No, I'm just kidding. It was like a good six, seven times. Interesting. This is how we get into the cave.
I don't know. I just don't like being down here. It's I think it's because I can't see, you know? Yeah, I'll take the shaft. Pause. Like, like, I'm just sensing something's about to happen. I know Lisa Trevor's over here. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Um, Rel. Enrico! A double crosser? Enrico really thought Chris was a double crosser. And I completely forgot Enrico was alive. But then, here. But again, Wesker saved him. Wesker saved Chris again. Enrico was. Alright, see, now I really understand why people shift Chris and Wesker. Because, what, that's like the third time he saved Chris? The first time was with the zombie dog. He's been giving him a bunch of ammo, health, and all that. And then he saved him from Enrico. That's crazy. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm actually starting to understand now. Ah, oh, darn. I knew there was going to be some down here that I was going to like, but I'm thinking there's some worse. Aside from Lisa Trevor. Just in case we'll say that. Get the health. Crank. We're most likely going to need it. But. Right. Okay, we do need this right there. But why give us a second crank? That's my question. Is this specific? Like, do I specifically need this right here? put up the crank. I feel like I'm gonna need it more though. Hold on. Flamethrower, okay.
Alright, let's do this. Yeah, you squished me last time. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that was smooth. If it was Leon, it would have been a uh, Leon running toward the camera while the thing would have been chasing him. You've gotta be kidding me, bro. I'm getting all this uh handgun ammo, but But um I don't have um any storage. Oh the spider. It's time for our boss battle, sucker. How do you like your spiders? I like mine. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, um. Yeah, I didn't even realize I killed it. Yeah, see, I don't even have enough space. Well, I might as well just die now because I have no space. And it had gave me, um, um, and I had gotten killed. I didn't even know that I had used all the flamethrower. That um, one. Ah, dang, I could have. Oh, yeah, I wonder if I stay poisoned long enough if they're gonna let me play as Rebecca.
Does it all the way out? Okay, so yeah, I forgot this one was hexagonal while the other one was rectangular. Oh, was that? All right, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I knew how to figure this one out. Yeah, I should have put the shotgun up because if I would have put the shotgun up, could have had some ammo or the pistol whistle. Bro, come on, man. Bro, I'm like right in between the camera angles. I can't tell. There you go. I like how um, Chris was standing on it. Yeah, he's taking too long to die from the poison. I should have seen that coming. Where's that? Oh, okay, I'll oh, say. He thought he was going to get me. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and save it.
Yeah, I can barely see. Oh, y'all should have seen it one time when I was trying to make it back to the um that little hole circle where that went in that wall trap room. That um the the two hunters literally got me trapped, and they just kept doing the little chops, and then one of them slit the Chris's throat. It was crazy, cause there wasn't anything I could do. Hit me again. Okay, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm about to end the gameplay right here. Thank y'all for tuning in. Those of you who did, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.